It happened, ladies and gentlemen, President Obama on Saturday, December 31st, 2011, as a little New Year's present to our Constitutional Republic, signed the National Defense Authorization Act. And he had an accompanying signing statement saying, don't worry, even though it says we can secretly arrest U.S. citizens and throw away the key, uh, we won't be implementing it this way. Of course, he could always change his mind, because here's the big lie. It was President Obama, Senator Carl Levin, of his own party. It was Senator Carl Levin who came out and pointed out, when he was getting the blame for this, that it was President Obama and his lawyers, and he produced the letter, that demanded and said that they would veto the National Defense Authorization Act and hold up the entire military appropriations if they didn't give Obama, the office of the presidency, the power to indefinitely detain U.S. citizens. But it goes further. There's all these creepy clips we've got on Infowars.com from C-SPAN of the authors and sponsors of it. Senator Lindsey Graham, Senator uh, John McCain, Senator Carl Levin, uh, Senator Joe Lieberman, and others saying, yeah, we're going to arrest citizens. Yeah, we're going to torture you. We want you to be afraid. You bet this is for U.S. citizens. That was back when CNN and other mainstream media deceivers were saying, it doesn't affect citizens, it doesn't affect citizens. That was so we couldn't get any opposition to it in the first month of it being developed. They would just deny over and over again that it affected citizens. But Ron Paul, myself, and others brought forward the fact that the subsections did say that, and we pointed out the video clips of the authors of it admitting it. But just this last week, CBS News, ABC News, the New York Times, hundreds of publications and TV channels came out and said, Ron Paul is crazy. He believes that the NDAA affects citizens and allows the military to operate domestically. Well, the ACLU has done the analysis. It's a worldwide declaration of the entire planet as a battlefield, a worldwide declaration of war by the corporate interests that run our military and our government that have hijacked it. It allows the torture, secret arrest, indefinite detention forever of U.S. citizens. That's all on record. And there's been deception after deception. Remember a month and a half ago, oh, it doesn't affect citizens. That big controversy. Then the senators that authored it said, you bet it does. And I'm going to show you where you can find those clips here in just a moment. Then Obama, lies within lies, came out and said, I'm opposing this bill. And then it freaked everybody out when he said, no, now I'm going to sign it. And it freaked people out even more when the senators came out, all of them, and said, don't blame us. We were told by the White House, do this or I won't sign it. Now Obama, in his signing statement, you can just type NDAA into Google News and you'll find it. It's on WhiteHouse.gov. He said today in his signing statement that he, didn't, he doesn't like the indefinite detention part for citizens, but, but the Senate wanted it, so that's what they got, but uh, that he's going to disregard that because he didn't want to hold up military appropriations when he was the one that said he would hold it up if they didn't. I mean, this is why the deception is so hard to pierce for the general public who kind of just halfway pays attention to the headlines. And, the, and the, the media propaganda is targeting those of you out there that really don't pay attention. Remember the Patriot Act? They said that wouldn't affect citizens and was only for terrorists. Now they use it in family violence cases and uh, cases of you know, people dealing marijuana thousands of times per state per year. Remember how they weren't going to spy on us without warrants. Now they just admit they are. Now the TSA's announced they're going to be at checkpoints all over the country, and they're actually running the checkpoints as we speak. This is a total takeover by criminal interests that have seized our nation, and they need to put this police state grid in place to, to maintain and protect themselves from the public. The criminals need a tyranny in place so they can continue to get away with all the crimes they've committed. Now, let me just briefly uh, show you the facts right here. Number one, uh, you've got the ACLU. This is just out today, December 31st, 2011, just a few hours ago. President Obama signs indefinite detention bill into law. And what do they say about it? They say clearly he has disgraced himself. You can read it right here. Uh, it says today is a blight on his legacy because he will forever be known as the president who signed the definite detention without charge or trial into law. 
and this is worldwide, and, and some said, oh, this isn't for citizens. Really, Obama's been killing U.S. citizens without a trial and, and you know, setting the precedent and saying, oh, well, they're terrorists. But remember, the domestic Homeland Security documents we've gotten clearly states that the main focus is good old boys, conservatives, libertarians, uh, gun owners, farmers, Amish. That's who the system's targeting. Now, here's Infowars.com. Obama administration demanded power to indefinitely detain U.S. citizens. Just type that in and you'll get this video with Carl Levin where he says, hey, uh, don't, uh, during the debate, don't be blaming us for what happened. Uh, are you aware that the White House demanded that we add the provision that it be U.S. citizens and it does affect U.S. citizens? And then we've got all these countless other articles that have got the uh, videos of the other senators in there getting super, super creepy. Uh, talking about how uh, they're basically uh, wanting to scare the American people. Obviously, it's a holiday, but I'm going to get some of my writers together tomorrow to do a new article and you know, repost at Infowars.com on the front page all the different senators admitting it was Obama de that demanded the indefinite detention, admitting that it is indefinite detention. And then I'm going to show you where Obama got him and said he was against all this. That is duplicitous. That is deceptive. That is counting on people not paying attention. Go to Infowars.com, get our articles, get them out to people, and, 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 and point out that here's Obama in his signing statement today saying, I don't like it that it's for citizens, but I'm going to sign it anyways, when he's the one that demanded it. I mean, wow, how do you deal with, with this level of deception and disinformation? They're doing this because they're getting ready to devalue the dollar and fully implode the country. And you know, I, I bought The Economist today when I was at the grocery store, Economist magazine, and it says central bankers to the rescue and shows a central banker with defibrillators about to restart the heart of, of a patient. They've designed this implosion to consolidate power. Every time things get worse, they get more power. Then it gets worse, they get more power when the IMF and World Bank documents are public how they plan to take over the U.S. And, and Europe and bankrupt it through derivatives. Things are going well for them. They're not screwing things up. When Hitler was invading France, things were going well. That wasn't a screw-up. They're taking over. They're destroying and overthrowing the Republic. You know, he said, this, this, this bill does go against our cherished values, but I'm still signing it. That's a quote in there. Go read a signing statement. Our cherished values. No, not our values, our law. Our law, you tyrant. But remember, the office is being turned into a dictatorship for the bureaucracy. The president himself is a teleprompter reading nobody. This is going to be handed on to future puppets. All right, hope you're having a great new year. Please get this out to everybody, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to stand together or hang separate.